Welcome to the project demonstration of IoT based smart streetlight uh, project uh, using Node MCU, ESP8266, and ThinkSpeak. So, in this project, we are going to controlling the uh, street lights, uh, LEDs, whenever the vehicle presents. At the same time, uh, the darkness should be detected from this LDR sensor. Means to control this uh, street lights, we need to take the two inputs. One is from the light dependent resistors which will inform to the node MCU about the sunlight availability and IR sensors to detect the vehicle. So whenever the sunlight is low, then the vehicle detected, then only the lights will get switched on. Irrespective of this uh, vehicle presence, we are controlling the LEDs based on the main input from this LDR sensor input. So we have interfaced this light dependent resistors pin number A0, pin number D0, D1, D2 for this LEDs, uh, sorry IR sensors and uh, D5, D6, D7 for this LEDs and also same data of this uh, vehicle uh, detection from this IR sensor and uh, light dependent resistor values, how much of sun intensity is availability. These four parameters continuously upload to the ThinkSpeak cloud platform. So for that uh, just go to the ThinkSpeak uh, website and log into the within given credentials and click on this smart street light system. There we get the previous uh, data. So this first one is the LDR and IR sensor 1, IR sensor 2 and IR sensor 3. So these are the data we got from the node MCU. So let us see demonstration. Before demonstration, I mean before on the kit, first of all we need to enable the hotspot and uh, for that just go to hotspot settings of your phone and configure the hotspot to project. Right. So configure the hotspot to project 6338 and password should be 12345678 and APY should be 2.4 gigahertz. After configuration these hotspots on the hotspot and data and then on the power supply to this kitch. So once we are on the power supply uh, a mobile phone should be connected to the node MCU. So whenever we are demonstrating this whenever the vehicle presents then only this light should get switched on. If the uh, second light is continuously getting switched on, the indication of the external sunlight is falling on this IR sensor. So we need to block the sunlight uh, to fall on this IR sensors. Okay. So now we can see one device is connected in your mobile phone. After this confirmation, so we can cover up this LDR sensor. As of now, the vehicle presence, but there is no movement on the street lights. So when we cover this LDR, as indication of sunlight is low, then Based on the vehicle presence, the lights will get switched on. You can see that. So when the detects three, then the three lights will get switched on. Whenever the sunlight is available, then automatically the street lights will get switched off. So parallelly, the system is uploading the data to the ThinkSpeak. So we can see that the data is uploaded. When we click on the dot, we can see the date and time of this particular data uploaded. So if you want to download this, for that go to data import exports and in that download. So the data will be downloaded and it will be seen in the excel sheet. So there we can get the date and time and field 1, field 2, field 3, field 4. Field 1 is the LDR input. Field 2, field 3, field 4 is the IR sensors. When the vehicle presents, it indicates 0. When the vehicle not presents, it indicates 1. And then we can clear the old data also. For that, after downloading the data, go to channel settings. In that, only do clear channel. Don't do any others. Only clear channel. And then OK. Now go to private view. So I'm repeating private view to see the live data, channel settings to clear the channel and down data import export to download the data. So the data will be uploaded into this thing speak for every two to three, uh, sorry, every 10 seconds of duration and uh, wait for that duration, you'll get the new data to be uploaded into this one. So coming to this IR sensor working principle, it has a two LEDs. The black one is IR receiver and white one is IR transmitter. Whenever the obstacle detects, then uh, the surface of the obstacle will reflect the transmitted IR rays and the IR receiver, uh, receiver will receive that reflected rays and uh, it will inform to the node MCU about the vehicle presence. Then uh, the system will control the LEDs whenever the darkness detects. If the light detects, lights off, darkness detects, lights on, then 
the vehicle should be present near to that. data uploaded into this one so earlier data so IR1 IR2 IR3 right.